Welcome to Eon Yoga. In this video, I'm going to do a few lateral movements, taking leg out to the side, taking arms out to the sides, where we're not sticking to these linear movements. So this type of practice is very effective for cyclists, being used to just these linear movements once again. So we're going to open up a bit. It's going to be a little something different. If you're not warmed up, as usual, I suggest you hit pause, do a few sun salutations, and then hit play to join in on the practice. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Let's get started in box pose or all fours, hands underneath shoulders, knees hip distance apart. Take a deep inhale. On exhale, empty lungs, tuck your chin as you draw navel to spine. Inhale, arching your back. Looking up, working navel closer to the floor. Exhale, we get back into the cat stretch. Inhale, arching and looking up. In breath, get back to center. The next inhalation, straight on the left leg, raise the right arm. Lengthen to the front of the studio. Imagine you're going to shake someone's hand. Keep the back foot flexed with the leg straight. Push chest away from the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, arm out to the side. Leg out to the side. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, we do another one. You take it out to the side. Slowly place the foot onto floor. And then reactivate by lifting back up, taking leg back, arm to the front. Exhale, hand down, knee down. In breath, opposite leg, so right leg back, left arm to the front, chest away from floor, finding balance. As you exhale, bring the leg out, arm out. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, leg out, arm out. Breathe, place the foot down, and then lift it back up. Take the leg back, arm forward, exhale, hand down, knee down. Normal down dog hands on the mat, tuck toes, straighten legs. We make our way into downward facing dog. On in-breath, we start by raising left leg. Take left leg up to ceiling. Exhale, placing foot in between hands. Bring your back knee down to the floor. Inhale, raise both arms. Low lunge. Exhale, bring your hand down, your right arm down. Keep reaching up. And now start to walk the hand out to the side. If you're not able to place hand onto the floor, make use of a block and start to reach to the right side and keep the breath consistent. Left knee stays in line with the left hip. With the next in breath, open up in the chest, looking up as you just slightly tilt the chest to the left side and up to ceiling. Rotate back to center, use inhale, bring arm back up, low lunge. Exhale, bring left fingers down. Start to walk the hand out as we now reach to the left side of the studio. Still knee in line with the hip, hip sinking low. Take it to the final phase. Open in the chest, keep breathing, feel that nice lateral stretch as we're doing a nice lateral movement. Body stays active, breath is moving, square off in the hips or torso, bring the arm back up, exhale, bring hands down, tuck toes, lock back legs, step back, exhale through your Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows close to body. In breath, upward facing dog. Exhale, into a down dog. 
Inhale, raise right leg. Exhalation, placing foot in between hands as we bring back knee down. Inhale, arms up. With exhale, bring left arm down. If you can't touch once again, it's fine. Maybe using a block. I'm going to get fingers down to the floor, walking hand out to the side, reaching over to the left side of the studio, keeping arms straight. And the final phase, just simply opening up a little bit. As I expose chest to ceiling, working arm away and behind the ear. This practice is definitely meant to be done and not just a demonstration so that you can feel what's happening in the body with these subtle adjustments, bringing chest back to center, bring arm up. Low lunge, but then exhale, bring hand down. We do the same into the opposite direction. So we're walking fingers, reaching. First get the nice lateral flexion in the side body, now start to open up and just working the chest a bit closer to ceiling. Bringing torso back to center. In breath, take arm up. Exhale, hands down. Tuck toes, lock back legs, step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. In breath, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. On inhale, raise left leg. Exhale, placing foot in between hands. Find your balance as you come up to standing T. I believe it's got a lot of names, this variation. Take a deep in breath. Exhale, bring left fingertips down to the floor. Right arm up as you open up into half moon. You can either stay here if you need to look down to the floor to keep balance, do so. Taking it a step further, I mean to bend the back leg, grab hold of ankle, open up. So use the leg strength to kick away, opening hip to ceiling, keeping breath long. With control, let go of the ankle, take arm back up, bring leg out to the side. Fighting with the balance there, just keep left fingers on the floor for support, slowly taking leg back, stepping back, heel to alignment, into a warrior two. It's like a full inhale, exhale, windmill hands down, lift back heel, step back, exhale, chaturanga, in breath. Utva Mukha Svanasana, or down it, or upward facing dog, and then into your down dog. In breath, raise right leg. Exhale, place foot between hands. Find balance, shift weight onto right foot. Coming up. Take an in breath. Exhale, right fingers down. Left arm up. Opening left hip to ceiling into that half moon shape, second phase, bending the knee, grab hold, open up. Keep kicking away from the body, and we slowly let go of the ankle, bring leg out to the side, keep the breath consistent, Slowly take leg back, finding balance, stepping back into your warrior two focal point over the front middle finger. Inhale, exhale, bring hands down, lift back heel, slowly come down, chaturanga. In breath, upward facing dog. Exhale to your down dog. 
In breath to raise left leg. Exhale, placing foot in between hands. Interlace your fingers as you work your arms up. Back leg's locked. Front leg to 90. Deep inhale. With exhale, twist. Opening chest to the left side. And then very slowly let go with the bind as you take arms out to the side. Think getting wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrist alignment. Then lower the back arm, grabbing hold of your leg, reaching up and back. Just keep focusing on one spot. A subtle adjustment will do a lot in this posture. Maybe going a little bit deeper, twisting a little bit more. Slowly let go. Getting back to the previous phase. With an exhale, bring hands down. Step back, exhale, chaturanga. In breath, up dog. Exhale to Adho Mukha Svanasana or downward facing dog. In breath, right leg up. Exhale, foot between hands. As you let go with the hands, interlace. Bring arms up. Draw navel to spine on exhalation. Open up, twist. Once you're doing the twist, you feel the navel and the spine working. Open up. Aim to get the shoulders aligned. Grabbing hold of the back leg, reaching up. Keep sinking low into the front knee. Just get a nice spinal twist. Plus you're working on the balance. Plus we're conditioning the right quad muscles. Keep breathing. Slowly back to center. Previous phase, exhale, bring hands down, step back to plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale to a down dog. Bending both knees, you can look up with an exhale, jump knees in between hands, sit up, just take a second, interlacing fingers, arms out in front, in breath, take arms up. See if you can take the arms a little bit further back, keeping arms locked. Another deep in-breath. Exhale, reaching over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, part the hands. Arms out to the sides. Deep inhale. Exhale, twisting to the left. Opening in the upper back. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, twisting to the right. Just feel the upper back working as we're twisting. Bringing the arms down. You can place hands back onto the mat, stepping or jumping back into your plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, just maintaining a bit of flow. Exhale to down dog. If you want to carry on, add things into the practice, do that. Otherwise, you can make your way into a corpse pose. You'll find with these movements, subtle small adjustments will make a huge difference. Explore with your body, see what happens on the mat. If you have anything to add, 
let me know. Comments are always appreciated. Till next time, thank you.